Hello, hello, my friends. I have another candle haul for you today. We are going to be talking about the Kringle Candle Reserve Collection and the Easter Collection. Both of these were delivered to my doorstep over the course of the last week. And while I am aware that um, I'm a little bit behind the ball on these, you know, the Easter Collection I did purchase on the day that it became available, but because I live on the West Coast, um, things just take a little bit longer to make their way here from Massachusetts. And then the Reserve candles, I kind of sat on the fence and I did what I actually encourage a lot of you to do, which was I kind of sat back and waited for some other reviews to pour in before I went ahead and made the decision to purchase. So up front, I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, um, but none of these are PR. I spent my family's own money on these candles and as always, um, the opinions that I give are truly my own. So. I wanna say a warm welcome really quickly to any new viewers. Hi, my name is Katie. I promise I don't always sound like this. I have had a nasty head cold that I have been battling over the last week. Um, the good news is that I have still been able to smell the entire time. I just seem to have a lingering post-nasal drip going on and I'm hoping to make it through this video without any coughing fits. Um, but yes, if you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Katie. I like to talk about home fragrance, predominantly candles, and a little bit of beauty. So if at some point throughout this video you want to stick around for more of my content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I wanna say thank you to my returning viewers and subscribers. Now let's go ahead and get into this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out with the Easter collection. Now, unfortunately, as of this morning, the morning that I am filming this, two of these fragrances are sold out, which is very unfortunate because these were in very limited supply. Um, and it's kind of a shame because I really like the fragrances on these. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start out with the one that I don't wanna say it's my least favorite, but I guess technically it is. It's not that I don't like it. Um, it's just that like some of them blow me away. And so this first candle is Jelly Beans. Now the fragrance notes on this are blood orange, pomegranate, cassis, cassis, bergamot, acai berry, and orange. Now this candle, first off, I really love the packaging on this one. Um, it actually reminds me of the pattern of a dress that my mom used to wear back in the 80s. If any of you guys are fellow 80s babies or you were born earlier than that, do you remember the women wearing the, I don't want to call them moo-moos, but like there were a lot of dresses in this pattern and it reminds me of that. I definitely smell citrus in here. So there is the orange. It's very sweet. I wouldn't say that I necessarily smell this and think like, oh, that's jelly beans, but it is a very sweet citrus type of fragrance. I'm trying to think what it, pomegranate, it's, it's definitely an orange note that I am smelling in here. Um, and there is berry, it's orange and berry smelling to me. So I'll be, um, interested to see what this one smells like upon burn. Um, I will, I don't think I will do dedicated reviews on these just because, I mean, this is the only one that is still in stock. Um, but I kind of feel like by the time I would get a review out on these, it would be, you know, it would kind of be like a mood point by then. However, I will keep you guys posted about how these are burning. These are in the three wick 100% soy formula, which you guys know that I love. Um, but I will keep you guys posted with how they are burning and um, just their performance for me in my Saturday six series, which if you are new to my channel, that is a series that I usually do every Saturday. I was not able to do it yesterday just because of illness this week. Um, but it is typically a series that I have on my channel where I give little mini reviews on products that I have been using throughout the week. And it's usually three candles and three beauty products. Now this candle is one that I actually plan to burn side, uh, burn alongside the candle that quite frankly, I thought was going to be my favorite of the three. And, and I do love it a lot. This is Marshmallow Chicks. Now this candle sold out within, I want to say eight hours of it going live. This was the first one to go. Um, it, it, and let me read the notes and you'll see why. The fragrance notes are marshmallow, smooth vanilla, lemon sugar crystals, or no, lemon sugar crystals, creamy butter. There's a reason why there's commas in here. Um, this candle to me, definitely lemon. I, I smell lemon for sure. I smell the sweetness of a marshmallow and definitely that buttery note is in here. So this is not like a lemon cake or a lemon cupcake. Um, this is definitely 
a very, very, it's a sweet lemon. It's a gourmand, but not, not even like a cookie or, um, or a cake. Maybe, I guess maybe it would lean more towards a cookie, but even then I don't get like a, like a bakery type of note out of this. Oh, I actually really, really like it. Um, I am very thankful that I initially only ordered one of these and then I was seeing how quickly it was going out and I started thinking, you know what, I would probably want more than one of these. And so thankfully, um, the day that I ordered these, I ended up emailing Kringle and saying, can you please tack on another one to my order? And their customer service was so great and was like, yep, we still have them in stock. Go ahead and throw another one on. And again, like I said, it sold out within eight hours. So I was really glad that I did that. All right, and then finally, I'm going to tell you, this was the one that the packaging alone, I was like, I'm gonna buy that candle no matter what the fragrance is because the packaging is absolutely adorable. This is Chocolate Bunnies. I mean, this is just like my childhood Peter Cottontail. Oh, I, oh, I just love it. I love the, um, the, the painted design on here. It, oh, it's just absolutely lovely. Now, the fragrance notes on this are chocolate cream, Caramel, vanilla, and coconut. Um, this is this is a very very well done chocolate candle. Um, this is this is definitely a milk chocolate. It's not your deep dark chocolate. It's not a fudgy chocolate. This this actually smells very much like a Cadbury egg. Um, however, it's funny because I haven't really heard anybody else say that they smell this, but I do. There is a coconut note listed at the end of this, and I actually do get a little whiff of that coconut on the end. So when I first smell this, it's chocolate, but I do get a hint of that coconut in there. I am really curious to see how this one burns. Um, I love it. In fact, uh, spoiler alert here, and I, if you're following me over on Instagram, you actually know that I did this. I got this order in. I smelled this, loved the packaging, and I was like, I think I want another one. And you guys, I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. I have a huge candle collection right now, and I am pretty, um, what would I say the word is? I, I, I would say I'm pretty cognizant of trying not to overwhelm myself. And so typically I will order one fragrance and that's it. This collection, there were just, oh, I just, yeah, I ended up buying multiples. I ended up buying multiples of marshmallow chicks and I was able to hop onto the website, <laughs> pun right there. I was able to get on the website and I was able to snag another one of these before they sold out because as of this morning, when I looked on the Kringle website, this one was sold out. But oh, I absolutely love that one. Really excited that these are all in the three wick formula and I will go ahead and keep you guys posted in my Saturday six series to let you know how these are burning for me. All right, let's go ahead and move into the reserve candles. And I'm going to go ahead and share with you the first reserve candle that I picked up. So when this line was released, this is a little bit more expensive line. I would say that these candles are like $2 more than their standard um, large two wick tumblers. So, I mean, it's not a huge price difference, um, but you know, the packaging is a little bit different and the oils that they use are a little bit more higher end. And so when this, when this line was first released, I looked at all of the scent notes and I thought, okay, I'm intrigued by a bunch of them, but I thought, you know what, Katie, I'm going to go ahead and hold my horses and I'm only going to order one. And the first one that I ordered was macaroons, macaron. This was the, the controversy because, um, if you have followed any of this, a macaron is a French pastry. Like what is listed right here. A macaroon is an American coconut based type of cookie. And so, um, yeah, the, the spelling of this candle is not in line with what is pictured here. So this candle, now I'm trying to pull off the lids on these. I will say that I have seen a couple of people talk about how these reserve jars sometimes do crack. So I'm trying to be really careful with the lids on these and not, you know, I, I kind of baby these reserve candles a little bit more. Um, quite frankly, I think all of the ones that I have with the exception of one of them are currently listed as sold out. But this fragrance, this is really good. I do get a little bit of like an almond, like an almond pastry type of note in here. I get the sweetness of like a raspberry or a, not necessarily the tartness of a raspberry, but like a strawberry raspberry, a berry type of filling. 
This one's really good. I have actually enjoyed burning this one in the mornings, especially now that we are entering into spring. We've got bright sunny days and this one has a warmth but sweetness of berries with it. It to me does smell pretty authentic to a macaron cookie. I don't have those all the time, but um, when I have had them, this does remind me of that. All right, the next fragrance that I got earlier this week is Dalgona, Dalgona. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that, but this is like a whipped, um, a whipped coffee type of scent. This one is really good. I do get like a chocolate note in here. It's not an overly strong coffee note to me, although I do detect a little bit of that in there, but this one is very creamy smelling. I actually like this one a little bit. I, I feel like there's a hint of um, kind of like a spice in here, not, not, like a cin not like a cinnamon or anything like that, but there's something in here that this just conveys a lot of warmth. Um, this again has been another candle that I really like burning in the morning or in the evening. Um, it's chocolatey and I'm not even sure if that's part of the recipe with Dalgona, but you do, um, you know, it's got this like whipped texture here. And as I'm smelling this, it kind of reminds me of something like a whipped consistency, something creamy and whipped would be in here. This is an absolutely lovely fragrance. Now I have already burned this one once and the strength and throw was pretty good. I would say that um, so far of the of these that I have burned, strength and throw has been pretty consistent, pretty good. I would put it at like an eight and a half, nine on all of the ones that I have burned. There's only one that I have not burned yet, um, but they have all been performing pretty well for me. Also, as I'm talking about these, um, I have heard rumors that there are plans to bring to restock a lot of these reserve candles, which is why I am still talking about them. If they weren't gonna bring them back, I probably wouldn't even do this video, but because there has been talk from Mick saying that they are going to plan to bring these back, they're just waiting on some of their supplier lineup, um, like their supplier calendar to open up to do that, to pour more of them. Um, what I would say is that if any of these are showing up on the Kringle website, um, even if their listing is sold out, there is a little button on there that you can hit notify me when these come back into stock. So I would encourage you to do that if any of these are, you know, ones that you are interested in. All right, the next one, this was another one that I initially, when they were first released, I thought I'm gonna pick that one up. And then I hesitated. I was like, eh, I don't know, I don't know. And then I listened to more people talk about it, not only online here, but also um, in the Kringle Facebook group and people were raving about this. And I thought, okay, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. So this is sweet and savory. Now the, the picture on here, you know, some people thought like it looked like some type of cookie. I see it as like a, a type of bread. And I think that that is more true to what this fragrance is. Now I'm trying to pull off the lid here. This one is really good. Now it's funny, I saw a couple of people in the Facebook group say that this reminds them of Fritos. And, and I actually can see where they're saying that. However, Fritos to me connotates that like it smells cheap and oily and like corn chippy. And that's not really what I get here. This is really, really nice. Now I burned this earlier this week. We had some rainy days and this was a really nice fragrance to burn alongside. I was, um, I had some beef stew going in the crock pot and this gave you the element of like a fresh bread being baked, but it's not like an Italian white bread or a sourdough bread. Um, it's not even like a super yeasty bread. It's like a, like a seedy kind of bread. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the, the smell of like that bread that you get at the cheesecake factory, that brown, like, is it like a molasses type of bread? The, the fragrance name of this sweet and savory, I think is really perfect because there is a savoriness to this balanced with a little bit of sweet. So initially when I smell this, I smell whatever notes they're using for the sweetness, but then I, I do get that base of like a warm bread, not a yeasty bread, but it's very, very nice. I actually am really glad that I have this one. Um, this is a candle that will probably take me a while to burn through because for me, 
being a seasonal burner, this is one that I really only see burning like on colder days. And um, those days are becoming less and less for me here in Arizona, but on rainy days or days when I'm cooking like a nice warm, um, I feel like that's a good fragrance to go alongside when you are cooking a savory meal and you don't necessarily know, like you want some other home fragrance, but you don't want anything that's going to be conflicting with what you're cooking. I, I don't know. I don't know if any of you guys are like me. Maybe I'm just weird. <laughs> Let me know in the comment box down below. Do you think like this or am I the only one? All right. The next fragrance that I picked up is Sinful. Now, um, this has a picture of like a chocolate cake on it. However, this, it's funny, my husband and I, when we both smelled this one, he's like, it reminds me of like when I walk into like Cold Stone Creamery. Um, not that this is a creamy note, but the chocolate note that I smell in here, it's not a rich decadent chocolate. This is kind of in the same vein as the chocolate note that they used in that chocolate bunnies. It's not quite as milk chocolate or creamy um, smelling and there's definitely not the coconut note that I smell in there. This is, this is a very nice chocolate scent. I don't smell a ton of peanut butter in here. I know some people have said that they smell peanut butter in here. I don't really smell any peanut butter in here. I smell chocolate, a creamy chocolate, um, but not overwhelming. Chocolate is a hard fragrance, I feel like, for me um, in home fragrance because oftentimes it comes across extremely artificial to my nose. But I have to say that I think Kringle has done these two kind of chocolate-based scents very, very well. Um, they're ones that I actually appreciate. I actually see myself burning these like in one, like one in one room and the other in another room to kind of complement each other. But yeah, I, I really, really like that one. All right, and then the last reserve candle I picked up is one that I kind of went out on a limb because I was like, I don't really know. That's kind of out of my wheelhouse, but I have been trying to step out and try candles that um, take me out of my comfort zone. So this fragrance is Dark as Night. Now this one, when I read the fragrance notes, I honestly thought that this fragrance was probably gonna lean a little bit more like masculine cologne type of smell. And I have to say, this one is a perfumey type of scent. So if you don't like perfumey scents, you're not gonna like this one. I think that this one is still currently in stock. Don't quote me on that, but last I checked, I believe that I still saw this one in stock. This is a nice candle though, I feel like as we are heading into spring and summer because while it is a little bit more, um, it's borderline, I feel like this is like a unisex fragrance. It's not overly traditional masculine, but it's not super feminine either. My husband actually really liked this one when I opened it up. He was like, I actually like that. I feel like this would be a nice bedroom scent. Um, it's nice. It's, it's kind of fresh, but perfumey. I don't really know what it is that I am smelling here. And unfortunately, because a lot of the candles are no longer in stock, um, if they're not listed on the website, I can't look up the fragrance notes on it. This kind of reminds me of not Irish spring, but like, you know, kind of like the freshness that you get from, um, from that body wash or that deodorant. I actually really like that. So um, all of these, this is the only one that I have not started burning yet, but I will be getting around to this soon. I have a lot of candles that I am trying to finish up burning. Um, I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, so if any of these candles are in stock and um, you want to shop from Kringle, the code JOYFULLIFE will save you an, addi an additional 15% off of your order. That is an affiliate um, code or link, the one that I will have in the description box down below. You are free to use that if you want. Let me know in the comment box down below, did you pick up any of these candles? Um, which ones are you excited about? Um, I, I am honestly really excited for that jelly donut to restock um, because that is one that I would like to add to my collection. But for right now, I am pretty happy with all of these. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you liked this video. Again, if you are new and wanting to stick around for more candle and a little bit of beauty content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for spending your time here with me today. And until my next video, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.